Welcome back to Satisfactory. And let's get our bearings here. So last time we got some coal power, we got three coal generators giving us about two, I think 225 megawatts of energy. So we bumped up our uh, capacity by quite a bit. Let's have a look at uh, what do we what do we want to unlock next? Steel or vehicle transport? I like the inventory slots. At the same time, steel is probably the better choice. Probably best to unlock that earlier. This is cheaper though. Um, they both require modular frames. Which I'm not making. Uh, modular frames. Require uh, reinforced iron plates and iron rods. So what I'm getting from this is we need to bump up reinforced iron plate production. Okay, we got a few reinforced iron plates. Um, but they're not being used for anything. That's why they're piling up here. Uh, if I'm going to make modular frames, I'm going to need more reinforced iron plates. Uh, let's see, where do we find iron? I know there's a few nodes around here. We can go up there. Ah, right. There's a few right down here. Pure. Pure. Okay. Let's tap into this one. Oh man, this is annoying. I gotta report that bug. Maybe they already know about it. That you can't pick up items when you have a chainsaw. I mean, you kinda can, but you have to get the view just right. You have to look at the base like, like that. So weird. I'm just clearing this out so I can get a better sense of how much space we have to work with here. Okay, let's see. We're going to use this only for reinforced iron plates and which we're gonna um, combine with these iron plates over here, I, uh, reinforced iron plates. 
and combine them and put them all in one box there. And we're also going to use some of this for the rods for the modular frames. So... Reinforced iron plates. Add to to-do list. Uh, somebody mentioned the to-do list. I should have a look at that. Uh, let me look at that again. Just to see... Okay, that just shows the ingredients for that particular thing. Uh, not very useful for what I'm doing right now. Oh, you can change the quantities. Um, public notes, private notes. Make modular frames. All right, I can get rid of the recipe. Make modular frames. How do I bring up that list again? Okay, I just... Uh, click on it. That's weird. Oh, when I move my cursor over to the side of the screen, it... Changes color. And I click, and then... Uh, okay. I got it. I can make it bigger. Okay, you can make yourself a little to-do list. That's good, because um, sometimes I forget what I'm doing in between episodes. Now, let's go to modular frames. Nah, let's not worry about that. I don't care about that. Um, basically, as long as we're getting a lot of reinforced iron plates... That'll uh, transfer over directly to modular frames. I don't need to do any calculations for modular frames. Um, six iron plates. So if I want five per minute, I'll need six iron plates. Well, that's not very many. And springs. Oh no, this is times five. 30 per minute is what I'll need. Okay, got it. 30 iron plates. 60 screws per minute. No, not the smelter. I want a miner. And I don't have a portable miner. Okay. Let's go make a portable miner. Let's make two of them. Okay, do we need anything? We got plenty of materials. God, the hitching.
right, we want a splitter. Uh, I probably put these too close together. We'll see. That might work. Nope, that works. That works. And that works. Amazing. Do I need... Do I need a third one, though? Maybe. Well, let me look at the modular frames. Two per minute. So it's going to require three reinforced iron plates per minute. That's not bad. Um, it'd be nice if I could double that to six per minute. But if I do that, I'll have to essentially double up on this with like two assemblers, which would not be a bad idea. And then that would require 60 iron plates per minute. I can try that. Sixty iron plates is going to be ninety ingots. Oof. Maybe I can do some overclocking. All right, for now we're just going to do one constructor. Oh, sorry, two constructors. Hold on, let me check this again. We're making. Iron plate. Yeah, two constructors, 40 per minute. Maybe I can overclock it to 40. That'll get us enough iron plates. That's going to require a few extra ingots. Let's try it. Let me grab some power shards. I don't have to get the ratios exactly right. But there's a big difference between uh, you know, wanting to just use one constructor or assembly building for something and two um I 
have some yellow slugs, we can convert those as well. Navigating my base. It's like a obstacle course. I'm gonna get rid of that. My intention is to sort of uh, wrap the belts around here. So I'll start making the constructors right here. And we will use a merger. I'll merge them that way in case I want to add another... Well... No. If I added another... Smelter, I would add it on this side. So, we'll do this. Iron plate. I want 40 per minute. Oh, 30 per minute. I want 30 or 40. Uh, 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Requires 45 ingots per minute. Okay. That'll be fine. And then uh, 60 screws per minute requires how many? Uh, about 15 iron rods per minute. Okay. 15 iron rods per minute is one... One constructor can do 15 per minute. And that requires 15 ingots per minute. So what that means is this, is a, this should be a perfect ratio. This is 45, consuming 45 ingots per minute. And then 15 iron ingots for the screws will consume the rest of this or I feel like I got my math wrong because this seems like not very much so this will be enough to run oh I'm not gonna check it there this will be enough to run one reinforced iron plate machine. I thought it would be more than that. Uh, overclocking percent, 100. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need the, uh, two screws screw constructors or one overclocked screw constructor I mean let's try it it might work I might have got the math right now we need a splitter here iron rod 15 per minute and then another constructor Give me 
that. Give me that. All right, screws. Let's do some overclocking. 60 per minute. Yeah, that seems right. Uh, consumes 15 iron rods per minute. That's what's being made here. So yeah, this is right. It comes out nice and even. Um, the reason, the only reason I need so few buildings to get this is because I'm doing the overclocking thing. Over there, I'm not doing that, and so I've got more uh, buildings than I need. The ratios are all messed up. But I kind of wanted to try the overclocking. So let's try it. So that's enough. That's enough um, for the iron plates. Five per minute. Of course, we're going to need other stuff for the modular frames. But this will pretty much take care of the iron plate production, more or less. We'll probably still need more uh, down the road. Not too far down the road, I'm guessing. Because this will only give us five per minute, but... The modular frames will require uh, six. Let's um, let's put this on top like that. There we go. Amazing. We want to bring them in here. Let's do a merger. Get on top of this so we can get a better view. Oh, that's good. We'll put it on top of that building. Perfect. And doesn't look uh, hideous at all. Alright, let's hook that up and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, this is the power from the coal uh, generators. I was like, this power pole just appeared out of nowhere. All right, I'm going to leave those alone. There we go. All right. We've pretty much just doubled our reinforced iron plate production, which is awesome. Actually, more than doubled because this one is not running at 100%. Now, the big one, modular frames. 
Oh no, this requires three per minute. Yeah, I was doubling it in my head, so... If we wanted four modular frames per minute, it would require six. Okay. Um... And, of course, we need the iron rods. That's not a lot of iron rods. That should be no problem. I think we have kind of an excess of... Rods. I don't want to bring them off here. Ah. I could probably bring some rods off here. We don't require very many. Alright, where's our frames? Here they are. What is this? Oh, this is the smart plate. Okay. Um, we want assembler. And a splitter. Hmm. If I overclock this, that's going to require a lot of power. Let's uh, try it, 150%, three per minute. I could just make another one and then underclock that one. Make another assembler, which uh, would probably be the best idea. All right, so where are, where that? Where in God's name? All right, these are the, the rods. Let's bring him over. Is that lined up? No. That lined up? I think so. Is that new music I'm hearing? I don't recognize this at all. Twenty five megawatts. Oh, that's not bad. I think the um, it was originally what fifteen from fifteen to twenty five. That's, um, where is it? Assembler 15. 10 megawatts. Yeah, so 150%. It's a little over 150% uh, the power consumption, but we have plenty of power. That's fine. Three modular frames per minute. It's going to be a slow process. There they go.
Could I make another one? I'm going to need to repeat this process again. If I do that. Are you working? Nope, of course not. How about you? Nope. Powering your machines is uh, very helpful if you want things to to run. The number one cause of factory problems. Loss of power. Or not having it in the first place. Uh, yeah, I guess there's no reason why I can't just do all this again. And uh, have twice as many reinforced iron plates. I know I'm going to need them. If I do that, you guys are consuming 30. You can give me 120. All right. Um, let's try. I need another merger. Nope, not a merger. Splitter. That's going to connect to this splitter. It's a little bit awkward, but... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that'll work. Now, don't forget... When you do something like this, you got to upgrade the input belt, we're going to be transferring twice as much ore. So that's got to be Mark II. That should be fine. 60 here and 60 there. Now these are both Oh, right. One of these is... Let me just copy this exactly. We'll do the same thing. One of these is overclocked to 150%. And that's the uh, plates. Okay. Uh, no. Those are the smelters. Line those up. One smelter per constructor. This one is iron plates. This one is iron rods. And the iron plates will be overclocked to 150. And again, I'm just doing that for simplicity's sake. I could always just build another constructor. Let's try to put these close to each other. I think that'll be okay. It's a little awkward, but... Nope. Sorry. I'm forgetting one step. The screws. Fifteen. Yeah, and the screws are overclocked. Right, right, right. Hmm. 
that not? Okay, that's lined up. Screws. Overclock to 150. Okay, now the assembler. Floor is too steep. My butt. Five more reinforced iron plates per minute. Beautiful. I love it. Let's get some power over here. God, it's a mess. Um, we'll borrow you. Merger. Uh, wow. Well, I guess we'll have to merge them up here. Too steep. There we go. It's working. Let's have a look at our power consumption. It probably went up quite a bit, but I bet we've still got some, some room. Yeah, so right now we're consuming 292. Our capacity is 415, so we're fine. However, the consumption is higher than what the coal generators can produce. So we are back to using some biomass for fuel. Not much, though. Um, so I'm okay with that. We can um, expand our coal again pretty soon, actually. We've only got three generators. No reason why we can't add more. Is that a cave? The heck is that? Oops, it is a cave. Uh, and we've got dancing plants. Is that normal? Are, are these things sentient? Mycelia, I need that. Yes, I need that for the plastic. Back. Jerk. Come back here. quiet. I'm not going to pick you up. Oh no, I'm not getting anything. My inventory's full. Okay. Let's uh let's go back. Ah. 
Rose up there a moment. Uh, first things first, let's put all of this biofuel away. All these leaves. Don't need that. Nope. No, no, no. No, no, give me that. Not that. Wood. There we go. Alright, you know what I want now? Fabric. I want this parachute. Slows down your fall when activated mid-air. Yes. Back. How do I activate it? Mm, don't know. I'll have to check. I want to try it out. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's put all this crap away. We got so many flowers. Don't need those. Now, let's see how we're doing on modular frames. Let's see if we've got enough of a stockpile to uh, unlock something. We should be almost there. Thirty-eight. I think we can. Oh, uh, we've got forty-eight. I think we need fifty. That's fine. I can uh, handcraft some. All right. What do we want? Steel? Probably steel. Inventory slots is tempting. Uh, that's fairly cheap, though. Uh, let me grab some rotors and more wires. I should have plenty of rotors. Basic steel production. Yes. Milestone reached. Steel production unlocked. Foundry grants access to new, simple steel parts. An additional project part can now be constructed. Progress to the next phase is now possible. Yeah, I don't think we'll be progressing to the next phase too soon. Although, we're getting there. I mean... Yeah, we're gonna have to bump up our... I think next time I'll, I'll work on uh, power because I'm not gonna be able to do a whole lot more than this without bumping up power. I mean, I could, but then we'll be relying too much on the biomass generators, I think. So, let's get a few more coal plants down. And then we can think about bumping up uh, 
modular frame production or look into what the next uh, objective parts are. I'm sure they're really complicated. On the top right there you can see a few of them. Actually, we can we can look at them right now real quick. Uh, the smart plating, eh, we can do that. That's no problem. The versatile framework, yeah, that requires steel and modular frames. What about the... What about that one? Can I not do that yet? It's not here. Huh. Strange. What is that thing? Maybe if I build an assembly machine, it'll show me. No, it doesn't show up here. Oh, is it a tier 4 thing? Okay, yeah, automated wiring. Okay. There it is. Yeah, there's a whole nother tier here we can uh, dive into with steel. Okay, I do want the vehicle transport though. So we'll let our machines run for a bit. I'll get 25 modular frames and then um, we'll get this one for the inventory slots and we'll try out the truck stations and the tractor. Um, I haven't tried these in a long time. I think they overhauled the vehicle physics. So I'm curious to try them out. I know I don't know if they're good or not good at this point. Or if they're worthwhile. But I want to try them out. So we'll get uh, we'll go with vehicular, uh, vehicular transport. And then uh, try out this new stuff. Alright, so that's it for this time. We got uh, modular frames. Increased our reinforced uh, iron plate production. Happy about that. Next time, vehicular transport and more coal power plants. Thank you for watching.